Good day friends, in today's video we are going to see about a common problem which we are facing on a regular basis. How to calculate the difference between two days. For example, we may uh, have an issue to calculate the turnaround time in terms of days or how to calculate the difference between two dates. Sometimes we may have a scenario where we need to calculate the difference between two days without Saturdays and Sundays. Similarly, without holidays as well. And sometimes we are also facing difficulty to do the aging calculation. I have seen a lot of people are using complex if conditions to do the aging. So what best that we can do? Or very simple, we are not so sure on how to get the last date of the month so that we can post the journal entry or reconciliations. So to whom it is applicable? You may be part of accounting team or reconciliations or finance. HR, audit or you may be running a small scale industries or you may be running a business. You may be in any other department. So for everyone, this particular video will be definitely useful because we're going to see the turnover and time calculation with multiple scenarios. So let me go to this sheet and then show all the scenarios one by one. The first scenario, very simple. I want to calculate the difference between the end date with the help of start date in terms of calendar days. So what do you mean by calendar days? All days inclusive of the month. So we are not going to exclude any weekends here. So how to do that? Very simple. Equal to my end date minus my start date. That's it. So I can double click so that I'll get the answer for all the cells. Now the second scenario. I want to calculate the difference between these two dates, but only in the working days. So when you say working days, weekdays or businesses, which means that we are trying to exclude the Saturdays and Sundays. So what is the formula to calculate the difference between two days excluding the weekends equal to network days, network days of open parenthesis. This is my start date and this is my end date close the parenthesis and press enter. I'm getting the answer as 9. So here the answer is 10. Here the answer is 9. Why? Because this formula is excluding the Saturdays and Sundays. So this is how you can get the result excluding the weekends. Let us see the third scenario. I want to have the same result, but in this case, I, do, I have the list of holidays. So my formula should calculate or should include the list of holidays and then it should give me the proper answer. So in that case, what we have to do the same formula equal to network days, open parenthesis, start date, comma, end date and comma, the list of holidays. So I can simply select the list here and press F4 so that I can, I'm just constantly selecting these cells alone here, close parenthesis and press enter. Now, let us try to copy paste to the entire region. Yes, so in this case, if you see the difference between these two dates from 27th or 25th November to 2nd January is 38 days in terms of calendar days. But here, if you see, after excluding all the weekends, it is showing us 27. But here, if you see, the answer is only 25. Why? Because we are excluding the Christmas and year and year. This is how you can calculate the difference between two days, excluding weekends and excluding holidays. Now let me go to the next scenario. So for every month end, before the month end, I want to pass an accrual entry. If that's a scenario, I want to understand how many days I have from the start date. So I basically, I want to calculate the aging between or uh, the difference between start date and the end of the month. In that case, I don't know what is the end of the month here, which means in this case, I should have an answer as 30th November and here it should be the 31st December and here it should be 31st January. So how to retrieve the end of the month date? So let me place a cursor here equal to EOM. EO month stands for end of the month. Pressing tab and then start date is this one and press month. So if you put an answer as one, then it will show the next month end date. Or if you put zero, then it will show the current month end date. For example, in this case, 20th November and my end date of this month is 30th November. So let me drag and drop to the entire region. If you see here, my answer is 30th November or 31st December or 31st January. So now this formula will be helpful for me to calculate the aging date here. Equal to this date minus the starting date. 
so logically i have 10 days to pass my reconciliation entry before my before it goes to the next month so this is how you can calculate the aging from the start date towards the end of the month date as a one time activity you can create this template so that anyone of your team can use this for example in this case i have used this template up to 1800 days so similarly based upon your requirement you can alter the number of days here so now instead of writing a complex if condition to arrive the aging bucket what i'm going to do simply using the vlookup condition selecting my number of days here and then press comma go to the aging bucket select my aging bucket comma to comma false so i'm getting the answer here simply double click on the right extreme side you are getting the whole answer here so this is how you can simply calculate the aging instead of writing the complex if condition. So I hope you are enjoying this video. I am sure it will be very very helpful for you. So please share this video to your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye bye.